Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, considering I just finished my 30 day challenge creating Redbubble designs, I thought I'd make a video about analyzing my first sale on Redbubble. So if you wanna go through my dashboard of my Redbubble site here, you got here that you can see the my earnings summary from starting the challenge. I started in about uh, February and then after, after a bit like 10 days, I finally got my first sale. So I can see there's $10 in March, $41, 15 and six in June. So I've got about 150 designs on my Redbubble at the moment. And so that's kind of contributing to the sales each month, which is, it's really cool to see. Um, here is a little bit about the artwork. And you can see here that a couple of them are the same topic. So it's maths as a married at first sight. And here you can see that, that that's been my biggest seller, this um kind of playing on the terms of that name of the show and trying to create easy designs. So, if, and just last bit here, a bit of uh, traffic, audience traffic, just to see uh, what people here. So you can see social media, that's been from me sharing it a bit, but also just some organic reach and from Redbubble. But if you wanna to go to my sales here, I can see that here's my total. So total since starting it uh, a couple months ago has been $73 uh, made from sales, which is really good to see. If I look over here, my first sale was on the 15th of March and it was for this I Love Maths sticker so it's a sticker that actually got sought and i got 27 cents so a very small amount but as you can see 73 dollars it kind of adds up with lots of people buying stickers and everything so so if we look at that actually design here i can see that see it's very simplistic so maths is just married at first sight and i've just made a design that people would want to have on certain things playing on that kind of i love new york design that was created a long time ago so just something that very simple and it's something that people won't be put off by strange colors or strange design elements of it like shapes any of that so i created this design a couple of different tags here and i pretty much made it so it's available on everything so t-shirts uh phone cases pillows but actually was the sticker and the magnets that actually got my first sale was a sticker. So 27 cents, the sticker. So that's pretty much my first sale. Um, the tips I would say is create designs that are very simplistic so people won't be put off by it if it's a strange color or a strange angled font or something like that. So I just thought I'd mention here, the way I found this is I went to Twitter and I just typed in what was trending in Australia, for example. And so in that time, about February when I made the first design was Married at First Sight. So I made a couple of designs for that. You can see with my dashboard that I actually did make three other designs with a very similar kind of focus. But I found this one, just the I Love Maths, very simple, similar to this, just play around with it a bit. And they've actually, the same design, just slightly tweaked, is actually giving me the most sales. So you can see here, $23 from six products sold. So that's all I actually wanted to go over today. Just a bit of analyzing about my sales on Redbubble. If this helped you in any way, um, let me know down in the comment section below if you wanted me to do more of these. Happy to do more of these and even show you how I created a design using Gravit Designer if, if that's what you want. That's a bit of an analysis of my first sale that on Redbubble that I got through that 30 day Redbubble challenge which I'd recommend watching because you can see I do a little, I did do a little, I did do a little, I did because I describe a lot more further in that about how I did everything, what I did to make the $30 in 30 days. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Love it if you like this video, subscribe um, and share it to anyone who you think might benefit from this. But that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.